Oh, good. She had uh, a broken hip at one time that you'd had surgery on. Is that right? And it's, she felt a healing ache. Now, I will say this. A few people have actually experienced healing. There is a woman who recently was given uh, a sculpture. It was the um, Andromedan child. And what happened with the Andromedan child, she now uses it. She's a um, Reiki master. And she began actually, it opens up people's chakras and has dispersed all negative energy, anything attaching to people. I receive emails from a lot of people who have experiences. Um, it looks like we're going to have to end this. I really apologize. I was really hoping we could, you know, have a much longer time. Maybe I can find a time tomorrow if uh, Carrie and Bill you know, uh, are, are able to fit me in where we can sit down and, and talk some more because it's a... Yeah, maybe during lunch break. I'm not sure if they're going to do that other thing at lunchtime, but I'll talk to them. The thing we need to be cognizant of... Pardon? Yeah. The thing we need to be cognizant of, we need to just relax, to stop judging and start loving. We need to be cognizant that we're all connected to the universe. We take our turn from planet to planet learning the lessons we've chosen. And what it all boils down to is when we leave our physical container, we get to go back to the spiritual plane and, and uh, communicate with one another the lessons we've learned. When I gave up my fear and learned to love these beings, oh my gosh, I can't get enough love. It's like... I. Sometimes it's hard being in my body. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh, no, I do. I'm allowed to sell them. I'm not allowed to talk people into buying them. You may buy them if you are really connected to one and you feel drawn to it. You may buy it. But what I'm saying is I cannot talk anyone into ever buying one for they know who their owner is. And you will know. I've had people walk past my booth when I've been at shows and they've turned around and they've go, I'm sorry, what? And I'll, I'll look at them and go, I didn't say anything. And they go, oh, your sculpture's talking to me. I've had people actually see the sculpture. And you have to be very open-minded, not afraid. They've actually seen, for example, Mary. I mean, I call her Mary. She's the blue lady, the plaque of the blue lady. She carries the Mary energy and Isis energy. I've had people tell me that they that the plaque actually became an entire tall being and actually came to her the night she got it. And then it came back a second time that night and brought two other beings from other planets and said, well, if you're open enough for me, here's some others that would like to meet you. So that is a tall white. Charles Hall wrote books on the Millennium series about his experience while in the Air Force uh, meeting the tall whites, they literally have come to this planet numerous times. They have for hundreds and hundreds of years. Actually, many of them still live here. Any other? Yes? I overcame my fear when I got doggone tired of being a victim. When I said, I am so tired of them coming and getting me when I don't want them to. And when I don't know what they're doing, they won't let me remember. And finally, I said, I'm going to find out. And the only way I can find out is to give up my fear and say, OK, guys, why me? And they came to me, finally, after three weeks of begging. Um, and I'll tell you what, after I started experiencing them, I don't care. They come to me a lot. I've even, I don't know if any, does anybody have the ant people plaque? Anybody took the ant people plaque? Ah, yes. Let me tell you the story about the ant people. I did not believe that the old world was going to end and there was going to be a new world because I kept thinking, eh, you know, I heard about what happens in 2000 and so forth. So in 2006, one night, I woke up in the middle of the night, potty break time, and got up to go to the bathroom and I noticed that there's an ant people, person about five feet tall standing beside my bed. And as I looked around, there was another one by... Um, the fireplace and another one by the stereo and I'm going whoa what a dream that I can't this isn't real 
I got up to go to the bathroom and I put cold water in my face, slapped myself a few times, almost self slapped myself silly, and I came out and I said, okay, if they're real, they're going to be there when I come back. I came back and by God, they were real. And I didn't know who in the world they were, so I sculptured them. Anybody know of Chris O'Brien? Yes, Chris O'Brien, the uh, Mysterious Valley, and so forth. And he'd spent, uh, I think it was six years living with the uh, Hopi. Interestingly enough about Chris O'Brien, I will tell you, he thought I was a phony when he saw all the sculptures I did. And he goes, you can't tell me you've had experience with these beings. I won't believe you. And when I pulled out the ant people sculpture, I actually made an entire sculpture. He goes, oh my God, the ant people. And I said, the what? He goes, the ant people. And I said, who are they? He goes, well... You look it up, and he gives me this website to go to, and I read the Hopi talking about the ant people. So when I came back from that seminar, I meditated one night, and I said, okay, I'm very open-minded. I would like to go down into the inner world, inner earth, to their den, and see what their den looks like. And oh my God, what a joy. Um, they literally have claws kind of like crab claws, for, uh, on their feet and hands, and they have antennas. Now, anybody know why the antennas? Why they have antennas? Uh, no, they have these antennas. Do you remember My Favorite Martian? Are, are you old enough for that? <laughs> well, what I didn't realize was the antennas were because they pick up frequency. They know us not by our face nor by our name but by our frequency. My beings told me we are our soul. When we were created, our soul has a frequency that is our identity we carry no matter how many lifetimes, no matter what planet we live on. We always carry that frequency. They can find us whenever they need us. That's, they zoom in on us. And what happens is the frequency intensifies as we become more and more spiritual. Okay? It's wonderful. The ant people, their only purpose is to bring us to inner earth when those who are meant to start the new world over again after Mother Earth has shaken herself free of the fleas. Um, I actually had a communication once with Mother Earth and I thought, whoa, now this is really pushing the button there. I had no idea Mother Earth was a sentient being. And all of a sudden she wakes me up in the middle of the night and she says, I have to cleanse myself, for humanity has been very angry, very negative, very hateful, very greedy and jealous. And although many of you are ready to graduate, we're going through a graduation for us spiritual beings, we're going to graduate from the lower density. So she said during this graduation, she must shake herself clean of all this negativity and there will be a new group of students coming to Earth. And many of us have chosen to go to the new world and start the world over. Some will go back to their ships where they came from, others will go back to other planets, and some might just be guides for others. You know, as we have guides that speak to us, we may choose just to kind of relax, hang back, and just be a guide and talk to people telepathically, <laughs> like I've had the fortune of having. So, it, any questions? Any other questions? Yes? Uh, she wants to know if it's true about the ascension and will Earth go into a, a fourth or fifth density. Uh, you know, I can, your truth is there in your heart, but I'm going to tell you what they told me, and then I'm going to tell each and every one of you, if you want to know the truth, connect to the source, source within, for your truth belongs to you. And no matter what anyone says or no matter what you read, your truth is yours, okay? We only share.